We do have our team coverage continuing right now, just hours away from a chance at record-breaking snowfall in the mountains. The looming winter weather has been the talk of the town in Hendersonville today. Some are planning on playing in the snow, but others are really looking forward to relaxing inside this weekend. But despite their plans, many spent the day getting prepared. It's what road crews and city officials have been doing for days now, too. But now they say it's time to sit back and wait and see what Mother Nature has in store. Fox Carolina's Kayla Conboy joins us live from Hendersonville tonight. So Kayla, how is everybody preparing for what's to come tomorrow? Well, lots and lots of errands. Generators were flying off the shelves. Same with those snow shovels. But of course, one of the hardest hit always, the grocery stores. You can see Ingalls here behind me still has a parking lot full of cars. And I went in there not long ago and they are almost sold out of bread. I saw people grabbing for those hot dog and hamburger, hamburger buns too. So if you were planning on making your grocery run tomorrow morning, it's safe to say they might be sold out of everything. Those supplies are going super fast. It's starting to look a lot like Christmas in downtown Hendersonville. The twinkling lights and wreaths lining Main Street. It's pretty much a winter wonderland. The only thing it's missing is snow. I think it's exciting and I think it's historic and I think it's really nice, especially around the holidays. So I'm looking forward to it. Adrian Pomeroy says she loves cold weather and can't wait for a few days off relaxing at home. She says she got up bright and early to take care of her errands, expecting to beat the crowd. But it turns out others had the same plan in mind. Aldi was my first stop in Hendersonville, and I got there about 10 minutes before they started to open, and there was already a crowd in the parking lot. And it was quite busy when I started, and by the time I left about 30 minutes later, that had increased pretty exponentially. The bread and bottled water, the first to go. Here's a look at some of those bare shelves inside. And Adrian says since she braved the crowd, she's hoping there's at least some snow so she can spend the weekend curled up at home. I think some PJs and hanging out with our animals and my mother who I'm with and just enjoying being at home and having kind of a lazy day. Filled with lots of movies if the power doesn't go out. But while many are staying warm and dry inside, NCDOT crews will be out in full force, keeping the roads as safe as possible in case anyone ventures out. Teams from just about every county in western North Carolina laid down their salt brine on the interstates, highways and primary roads and even some secondary roads today. That prevents the snow and the ice from bonding with the road and makes it easier to clear once it does start falling. So David Uchiyama says this weekend, be prepared to share the roads with lots of trucks and plows. NCDOT crews will be working around the clock not just until the snow stops, but until all the roads are cleared. So he says don't get out unless you have to, especially since for many, it's the first snow of the season. Stay home, relax. It's the weekend. Throw some snowballs, have some hot cocoa. Enjoy the snow. And DOT crews aren't the only ones who are busy. Duke Energy also has all of their teams on standby. They say they are expecting lots of power outages. Potentially 500,000 plus could be without power. And they are warning all customers now, be prepared for multiple days without power. They say they typically try to get here and fix everything within 24 to 48 hours. But all of that depends on road conditions. Reporting live in Hendersonville, Kayla Convoy, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.